With the FAXX new design, it seems that the Navy will fix all these issues at a cheaper cost, all while being able to go faster and further than ever before. While radar tech has certainly improved since the emergence of fifth-generation fighters, so has air denial, missiles, and other technologies that make it difficult for aircraft to even come close to enemy targets. The Chinese DF-21D was terrifying enough, as it was dubbed the world's first carrier killer and could launch a 600-kilogram payload up to 2,150 kilometers. But then came the DF-26B, which allegedly doubled everything at minimum, with a max payload of 1,800 kilograms at a reported range of up to 4,000 kilometers. And that's in addition to the DFZF, a hypersonic glide vehicle launched from the DF-17 that can travel at speeds ranging from Mach 5 to Mach 10, as far as 1,930 kilometers. Not only does China have this weaponry, but they also have them placed right at the heart of their A2AD or Anti-Access Area Denial Zones in the South China Sea, East China Sea, and the Strait of Taiwan. All are key strategic points to accessing the Chinese mainland and can pose a threat to anything within range. The F-35C has a flight range of around 1,200 nautical miles, meaning its combat range is only half that at 600 nautical miles. So, if any of these aircraft intended to engage in missions in Chinese territory, the launch point they would need to have from the carrier would already be within range of a number of Chinese countermeasures.